Hello everyone and welcome back to Life on Greenwood. It's Karen and it is so good to see you. Hopefully you're up for another thrift haul. So if you are, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. I have another thrift haul. It's an unintentional thrift haul. I'm calling it unintentional because well, it wasn't planned. Um, so let's get started. First of all, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like thrifting and upcycling of thrifted um, home accessories, I do that here all the time. And if you like painting, um, I like to upcycle and paint a lot of things with uh, chalk paint and other kinds of paint. So if you like that kind of content, please, by all means, become a member of the fam. So let's get started with this unintentional thrift haul. Starting, and you know what? I almost forgot to do this video. You know what? My schedule has been crazy since, um, you know, since this environment has changed. But I want to get back to being a little bit more consistent with my thrift hauls. Or, you know, when I'm at least remembered to take the stuff out of the car, right? I buy the stuff, it stays in the car, I forget about it, and before I know it, weeks has gone have gone by. All right, so let me start, start and tell you what I got. Oh, by the way, new um, sweatsuit that I'm wearing and matching matching top and pants. What have you been wearing around the house since, since you're not going out as much? I, I know for me, I'm just wearing um, hoodies and sweatshirts and sweatpants and that's about it. So um, this was something that I picked up recently. Really like, like it, very comfortable. Um, the only thing I would say it probably could be a little bigger. You order online, you never know what size you're gonna get. It says it says large. It comes back. It looks like a small. But anyway, I love it. I love the color. All right, enough jabber, jibber jabbering about that. Let's talk about the thrift haul. These are already washed. I've been buying um, a lot of. Uh, leisure stuff just to wear around the house and this was something that I picked up this top and I think I got this in the men's section too and the color of the day or the color of the week was yellow so I think I paid three dollars for this long sleeves I don't know who this is by. It says I don't know. Something gasket. Narragansett. I can't even read this. Traders seems it's dark. Can't even read that. Anyway. This is great for three bucks, right? And I already washed it and put it away and this I'm keeping is not for Poshmark it's another top that I picked up same time and this was another deal um, ticket was yellow so that was three dollars I don't know did somebody go to Aspen and get this it's nice because it's embroidered in there and it's really soft it's very, very soft. Again, I think I got this in the men's section as well. Three bucks long. It's got that kind of like, uh, I can't even describe the material, but really good. And again, red's my favorite color, so you know I can't go wrong with this. I'm buying a lot of this. When I go out, that's, that's all I'm looking for these days because if you try to buy retail these kind of sweatsuits and stuff retail you know they they're not cheap they're not cheap so I don't mind paying three dollars or something from Goodwill not going that often but anyway so this is another set that I got and these were all both from Goodwill the next thing I got and I already packed these packaged these up you guys know I have a Poshmark closet, right? It's it's 
linked, the information is linked down in my, um, in my uh, description box. You'll see my Poshmark closet listed there if you're interested in anything that I have. But these I got for Poshmark and they're by Vince Camuto. They're like ballet slippers, flats, very good condition, leather and patent leather. They're size seven and a half. I wear size eight. If they had been an eight, I probably would keep them, but they're seven and a half. Great, right? So I had already cleaned them off and put them away and listed them the first day. No takers yet, but I thought it was a good deal. I think I paid eight bucks for these or something. And I listed them for $20, $20 $21. Let's check. Double check. So I'm not doing much Poshmark um, uh, anymore. I haven't been, because I don't go as regularly. I haven't been to the bins since, whew, since like March, February, March. Um, I just haven't been there. Um, and Connecticut, of course, I think we're starting to go to lockdown again. So I will not be going out uh, much anymore. So that's that. Um, I got some stuff that was not uh, thrifted. So let me just show you what I got. First, this. Have you guys heard of, uh, what's it called? Ocean State Job Lot? Don't sleep on that store. They have all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, I wasn't looking for this, but I found a shower curtain. And... I love the pattern. I know this is coming across. Can you see the the pattern of this? It's like a waffle weave pattern, and it was only seven ninety nine. Better homes, better homes and garden. I thought this was so cute, and it's white, so you know you can't go wrong with that, right? So. I picked that up only $7.99 for that. And again, not, not thrifted or anything, but you know, that was that. And while I was there, I had the nerve, I had the audacity, the audacity to pick up a 2021 calendar. Raise your hand if you got your 2021 calendar. I know there was no hurry to get one, but you know what? Let's face it, guys. We're going into 2021. Got to be better than 2020, right? So I picked up a 2021 calendar. And this looks like... I like the, the big boxes. Um, each day has its own little space. And one of the things I liked about it was... It had a space back here for notes... So I hope to get some use out of this um, because I had to tell you, my 2020 calendar, which is right down on the floor here, I hardly put anything in it. I mean, I started out really great with a lot of goals and things like that, uh, places to go, things to do, people to see and all of that, but that's, that just didn't pan out. But um I'm looking forward to 2021 and really, really doing some stuff. So I picked this up and this was $5.99. That was from Ocean State Job Lot too. Oh, this is cool. Just to hold the page back. Oh, cool. Cool. So also on my unintentional thrift haul, I just got these things out of the trunk of my car and I haven't, didn't get a chance to wipe them down, but they've been there for a couple days. So, because I haven't washed them, I'm going to put on some gloves to I touch these things. Never know, right? Can't be too careful. So, these... I picked up... 
this. You know what? I can't, if I see blue and white, like I'm all over it. I'm all over it. I try not to pick up too many little pieces, but these, look at these candle holders. And it says made in China. It says I paid $3 for them. But look, how cute is that? So you can put a candlestick in here or you can go with a bigger candle right on top. Look at that. How cute is this? Are you a blue and white lover? If you are a blue and white lover, comment below and let me know um, that you are a blue and white lover because I just can't help picking this stuff up when I see it. So that, how cute. And this thing, which I think is a soup tureen. I think it's a soup tureen and it says $3. It's got like a, I think a little fish head on top of it. You see that? Is that coming across? And it says $3. Uh, made in, can't really read that. But how cute is that? Again, if you're a blue and white lover like I am, come below and let me know that you are. So this was my unintentional thrift haul. These came from Goodwill. Um, I wasn't planning to go there. I was out. I've been going to uh, get a coffee at Dunkin' Donuts and just sit in the parking lot, just having like some quiet time in Dunkin' Donuts, just sitting in the parking lot, having some, having a cup of coffee, collecting my thoughts and just enjoying some quiet time and decided, you know, since I'm out, let me just pop into Goodwill and see what they have. So that's why I'm calling this the unintentional thrift haul. But um, what are you doing for yourself just to get some quiet time? Uh, tell me what are your some of the things that you do when you just need to get away and just, you know, just uh, collect your thoughts. I've been going to that Dunkin' Donuts and sitting in the parking lot. It used to be open. Um, they had opened up the lobby, but recently they shut everything down again in Connecticut. So I sit in the parking lot and I have my coffee and I just sip on my coffee and I just relax and just sit there quietly and watch the traffic go by and just just quietly enjoy the sanctity of my car. Anyway, so that's my unintentional thrift haul, guys. Again, if you're new here, don't forget to um, hit the subscribe button and join the fam. Um, and for my returning friends, thanks so much. And I'll see you next time on Life on Greenwood. Bye, guys.